Continuing with step three of MDMP, course of action development, this video covers the last four sub steps and the outputs outlined in the staff reference guide volume one, ATP 5-0.2-1 and field manual 60, commander staff organization operations for detailed reviews of MDMP. Sub step five, assign headquarters, identify the headquarters for a group of forces controlling from two to five subordinate maneuver units. Additional units creates a task force that requires a commander's approval. Add graphic control measures to the COA sketch, usually boundaries between the subordinate headquarters one level down. Substep six, prepare statement and sketch. Clean up the graphic sketch, validating control measures with identified boundaries, enemy or threat locations, lines of departure and lines and limits of advance, phase lines, objectives, axis of advance, and locations of command posts. Finalize the statement for the COA with identified mission statement, commander's intent, concept of the operations, with operational framework, phase, and scheme of maneuver, task to subordinate units, collection priorities, concepts for fires, protection, and sustainment, and task and purpose for subordinate units with identified reserve. Provide a concept for command and control and identify risk with mitigation. Substep seven. Conduct the brief and select a COA. Always start with an introduction in the intended agenda with an updated IPB. Has the threat or the enemy changed since the last time you briefed your commander? Did new information about civilian or terrain considerations occur? Provide staff response from command directed questions. Review the problem statement. Review current threat COA. Identify relative combat power analysis. Then the COA statements with supporting COA sketches. Provide the commander with available time for comments, decisions, or guidance. Substep eight, select or modify COA for continued analysis. At this point, the commander will select COAs and provide guidance for continued analysis that they want further refinement and for preparement of a COA analysis action of MDMP. If the commander rejects the provided COAs, the staff restarts step three from the beginning. The final outputs from step three of MDMP are one or more of the commander's selected COA statement and sketch, a commander's refined guidance for additional planning, an updated IPB and other staff estimates, and an updated assumptions tracker. We ask ourselves, what does the commander want us to focus on? What's changed since initial mission analysis? And now, what more do we need to do and plan for? Once complete, the staff moves on to MDMP Step 4, COA Analysis. This concludes MDMP Step 3 as part of the Doctrine Digest MDMP series. Visit the Army Publishing Directorate website for a complete listing of active Army publications, NATP 5-0.2-1, Staff Reference Guide Volume 1, and Field Manual 6.0, Commander and Staff Organization Operations, for detailed review of MDMP.